hello, hello, and good evening, friends. Thanks for joining us here today. I am Carone Bailey. I am your independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! here in the beautiful Austin, Texas. I'm also known as the ATX Stampin' Lady. Thank you for joining me and the team today for another uh, Roll of the Die episode and Stamp Time with Friends in the Craft Room as, I, as we present to you another Roll of the, the Die event. We are a group of Stampin' Up! demonstrators um, and we come to you live each month or on YouTube each month as we create projects that feature the elements rolled from these set of dies. Um, <clears throat> the artisan team includes myself, uh, Carone Bailey, I am the host. We have Martinette Horner, Tamika Morris, Valerie Powell, and Tiffany McGill. You guys, all of their links will be in the description box as you'll see. It's also in the intro to the playlist. Please don't hesitate to, actually don't even hesitate, please take a moment to visit all of the artisans to see the projects that they have created with today's elements. So let's review what the elements are and then that way you'll know what we're working with today. We are working with Slimline. And I don't usually make slimline cards, you guys. I am definitely an A2 um, card creator. Uh, so when I'm challenged, I'm always challenged when I have to do something outside of A2. We also have to feature layering, which um, we layer. We feature the color neutrals. We have to include some sort of texture in our projects. And you guys, texture can mean many different things to many different people. And it has to be a birthday themed uh, card. So, with that aside, let's go ahead and put this aside. Let me put them away. That way I can reclaim some of my desk space. I love the dies, you guys, because what this does is it just gives me an opportunity to stretch and expand my creativity. All right, so let me share with you what I have done today. And um, this little thing is my little coffee cup. I have not had any coffee this morning. And y'all, I need coffee. Ah, makes me function, makes my life beautiful. So I'm going to be taking sips as the days go on. All right, so let me share with you what I created. Now, I'm using a mini slimline card. That is what I'm going to create for you guys today. Um, I'm already challenged with slimline as it is, so to go full-blown uh, slimline is not something my brain just totally wraps around, and I prefer to do um, the mini slimline cards. Now, mini slimline can take many different shapes or many different sizes, and I'm going to share with you dimensions of what it is I used. So let me bring in what I have created for you for today's project. So this is the mini slimline card and I created an envelope. Now obviously a mini slimline card is not going to fit into a regular A2 size panel. So with that, we will part of what we're going to do today is we're going to create an envelope um, specifically for our project that we have created. Now <clears throat> here's our card that we created. Again, it's mini slimline. As you can see, this is my template. I'm going to change up the color scheme in the project that we create today, but it's pretty much typically going to be in this same um, format. So here we go. We have our textured elements. Here's our birthday. We have our multiple layers. As you can see, we have layers. We have our card base. We have our matte layer. We have our DSP layer. Then we have um, a, 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 a spotlight. Then we have our image. And of course, we have this. We've added texture in our embossing. And this is kind of, if you remember from when we did our uh, Kintsugi technique, um, it's a little bit of way to add texture, but we also did a little bit of the tearing, uh, tearing technique or ripping technique to add more texture to this as well. All right, so that's what we did and we layered on the inside as well. So let's put this aside. We're gonna keep this somewhere where we can see it so we can not forget what we've done. <laughs> That happens. And I've tried to pre-do as much as possible. Um, so pre-die cut, pre-heat emboss, that kind of stuff, and pre-color. That way we can just make time, spend time creating the projects. So let me go with, the I didn't put 
measurement. So let me just share with you the parts and pieces that we are going to need today. All right, so our card base, as we have here, is a six and a half by six and a quarter, scored at three and a quarter. So your final piece will be three and a quarter by six and a quarter, okay? You'll need to know that. Three and a quarter by six and a quarter is your final piece, and your full is six and a half by six and a quarter. So we're gonna step things down in eighths, and so because this is three and a quarter by six and a quarter, this is going to be three and one eighth, and I didn't write it down for you guys, and I should have. Hold on, let's get let's let me do that. Sometimes I don't I re forget to do things. So that's three and one eighth by six and one eighth, and then our DSP is going to be three by six. How's that for simple? All right, I'm doing that so we can see what our elements need to be, okay? So on the inside of our card, we're gonna need another piece of designer series paper. This is also three and one eighth, so you'll need two pieces, that's three and one eighth by six and one eighth. And you'll need two pieces, that's three by six and one is going to be a designer series panel, and one is going to be a basic white panel. Okay, that's for the inside um, of your card. Let's see if we can write this one on here. So this is going to be six and a half by six and a quarter, and it's scored at um, three and one quarter. That's what our card base is. All right, so there we have all of our measurements, things that you'll need. You'll also need a focal piece. Now this can be anything you want. I chose to use an oval, um, but you can use whatever it is you choose um, for your image, okay? And then you're gonna need a piece of scrap for your image. I've already stamped colored. We'll just die cut it and we've already done our sentiment. So that's on a piece of scrap, and we are going to do matte layers for this one, um, so you'll need scrap for that as well. All right, so this will be pretty quick and pretty simple. So let's put all these things away. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and die cut. I wanna die cut my little bird, okay? I'm gonna bring out my mini cut and emboss machine. Now what I did with my bird is I went ahead and I stamped it. Oh, I didn't tell you the parts and pieces that I'm using. Let me die cut this, move this out of the way and I'll tell you everything that I'm using today. I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't tell you what I'm using. <laughs> Sometimes my brain moves faster than uh, Sometimes my brain moves faster than my, my what I'm doing. All right, so we're gonna just go ahead and die cut our bird. We've already, like I said, we've already, uh, and this is also embossed. Um, we've colored it, and I'll tell you the colors that I used to color. I used light and dark misty moonlight to color the bird, um, as well as um, Wink of Stella to give it a little added extra sheen and shine. So those are also additional ways in which to add um, texture to um, something. All righty. So while I have the, the way clean, the path clean, so we are going to be using today for our projects, and you can find these um, in the annual catalog on page four. 40, I have to tab them, right? On page 43, we're going to be using the Perched in a, th in a Tree. It is a cling stamp set. 
So we're also going to use some of these for added texture as well. Um, so perched in a tree is what we're going to use. And then we're going to use go to greetings found on page. Ninety seven for our happy birthday. And then because the neutrals, I'm not sure if you knew the neutral colors off the top of your head, but our neutral colors are Mossy Meadow, Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy, Blackberry Bliss, Early Espresso, New is Pecan Pie, Crumb Cake, Gray Granite, Smoky Slate, and Basic Gray. Those are our um, neutral colors. Now in our sample piece, I used Miss Mossy Meadow, um, I used Crumb cake are the focal colors that I used. And early espresso for my ink. So let's put this guy away since I've showed you where it is in the catalog. So again, it's go to greetings for our sentiment of happy birthday. And our perched in a tree is the stamp set that we used. All right, so let's go ahead and continue with our process. So we're going to grab next is the oval piece and let's grab I put everything away now I'm like what did I do with everything I don't know why I took everything off of blocks because that didn't make any sense but I did it anyway <laughs> all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to emboss again for texture um, for texture I'm doing a lot of heat embossing. That, that is the method of texture that I am preferring, that I prefer, and I'm going to use to add. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp the branch, because we need our bird to be perched on something, right? And I'm gonna bring in, um, I want my bird, All right, so I'm gonna go with a brown. Okay. Just gonna add a little bit of that. And let's bring this in here. All I'm going to do is line up my branch, how I want my branch to be on this oval pattern. Okay, now that's up to you how much of a branch you want, how much of an angle you want your branch, how much of the branch you want showing, that kind of stuff. So that's kind of up to you and it's an individual um, preference. Okay, I'm going to bring in my clear embossing powder. So here's another level of texture. And then all we're going to do is heat set. Heat tool warm up. All right, perfect. Can you see the little added shimmer? Perfect. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab our little, um, our splotchy element. That's what I call them, splotches, right? And we're going to bring in, again, just to keep everything in the color family that we have to stay in, I'm going to bring in the gray granite. Sorry, yeah, the gray granite. That's the color that I'm going to use. a little bit of black on there or so I wanted to clean that off 
so I don't transfer any ink. So if there are any, any of the products that you see that I'm using in today's uh, projects and you'd love to order them, I would totally appreciate it if you would. Um, are, and if you use shop using the host code, as you'll see on the screen, um, that is the host code for the month. Host code for the month of November. It it um, it you will be entered into a drawing to receive um, a fun tutorial and maybe a little something extra. It is the holidays, right? And I just want to add just a little bit so that um, to add a little bit of a little bit more zhuzh to um, the, the piece and also just to break up a lot of that white space, okay? So now that we've had that, and what's gonna end up happening is we're gonna end up putting this guy right here. So that's the next thing that we need to do. So the next thing is we're gonna start with our designer series paper. And what I'm gonna do to add a little texture to this is I'm just gonna do a little bit of the ripping technique. So again, it can, you can be, start anywhere that you want um, on the, the cardstock, rip towards yourself, rip slowly. And just rip as much. Try not to get it as um, even. Try to get it to be so that it's not like a straight rip. So there's um, elements to it. It may be jagged, however you wanna do that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm now going to add the, oops, sorry about that. I'm gonna add the Versamark Clear right to the edges where I ripped. making sure that you get enough of that um, that gluey sticky adhesive to where you want it that way when you add when we add the embossing powder it will have something to stick to all right I think we have enough on there Now, I'm gonna go with, is this gold? But I think, I don't think I wanna use gold though. What color do you think we should use for our embossing powder? Copper, silver. I think I'm gonna go with the silver, y'all. to bring a piece of scrap paper back in here. And then all we're gonna do is add our embossing powder. Let it sit on there for a minute. Shake the excesses off, make sure everything has coverage. Add a little bit more if you need to. There we go. Now all I'm gonna do is pour this excess back in here and then we'll add another layer of texture. Now I pre-recorded this. I've recorded this and I've set this video as a premiere that way I can watch it with you, and then if you have any questions, I am on the live that I can um, join you and answer any questions you may have. And as the embossing powder melts, you'll see it starts to change shape and uh, shine. And add just a little bit of oomph on our 
ripped and torn edge. Now we don't want to burn it. But we do want to make sure that the powder is set. All right, so there we have that. Hold on, I have a little bit more powder here. All right, so now that we have this guy, we're gonna go ahead and layer. Now I use Misty Moonlight as my card base. I'm gonna use Night of Navy as my matting layer. And of course, the DSP that we're using is from the Let's Go Fishing uh, designer series, uh, the, the Let's Go Fishing Suite. All right. And for some people, I love to build my card. I love to create whatever um, layers that I'm going to use. I love to do that first and then I build and I assemble my cards. I like to have my different pieces put together first and then layer them on. That way, if you if I make a mistake on something, um, I don't ruin the whole project. It's just that one layer that I that I made a mistake on um, that I can replace instead of having to replace or re redo the entire card. Okay. So here we have that. And look at that, look at that. Can you see the little texture and the edges and then the little detail with the silver? Awesome, where's my little pin here? All right, so that part is done. Outstanding. So I'm gonna set this aside for just a little bit. And I'm not gonna put this on just yet, but now the next thing I wanna work on is the sentiment. And here's our happy birthday. Now, um, I want to have, in, my, in the other one, I cut, I fussy cut around the sentiment. There are no dies, so I fussy cut around the sentiment. Whoops. So I fussy cut around the sentiment is what I did on the other one, right? And so, um, hold on a minute. So what I'm going to do now on this one is I'm not going to do that, but I want it to be a little bit, I don't want it to be so thick. So I'm going to bring my trimmer back in. I'll bring a trimmer back in. And try to get it to be a little bit narrower. my Stampin' Up! trimmer in, um, in one of my bags, and um, so I don't have it with me. Oh, I don't want to cut anything off. There we go. I want to trim it just a little bit more. And I purposely, purposefully, when I stamped this sentiment, I kind of stamped it going up a little bit because I do want to add a gemstone and I want to add that more towards the bottom. There we go. All right, so now that this is done, we're going to grab a piece of cardstock. try to do um, I don't know what I there we go is I'm now going to add this onto a piece of night of navy to make it as 
uh, as straight as possible. Okay. Now if you wanted to, you could measure. I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to bring the trimmer back in and I'm just going to trim. Okay. And it's all just going to be a little bit of an estimation for lack thereof, right? So I know where this ends and I know where my track is. And so I'm going to just try to make sure that I have a little bit of, uh, we're at three and a quarter now. Just a little bit of a border. I don't want too big of a border. So that was three and a quarter. So now I'm going to take it down to about three and one eighth. Try to give myself the same amount of border on the other side. And then do the same thing on this side. I don't want too big of a piece on this side. You just kind of have to be very, oh, I cut too much, but you get the, you. I cut too much. I'm sorry. You just kind of have to have a, a feel for where you want your borders to be and then work from there. Again, if you want something with a little bit more precision, then you can definitely work towards precision. So I'm thinking this is kind of what I want. And again, this is just me laying things out at this point, right? Because I do want to change it up just a tad from what I had before. And in order to do so, I kind of have to do a little bit of a layout analysis here, right? making sure everything is even here. And then what is it that I want this to look? How do I want this to look? So if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do happy birthday or do I want it just to be straight happy birthday like so? I think I just want it to be like that, to be honest, right? Or we could do a little bit of a kitty corner, not so much of a deep slant, right? Like so and then like that. I kind of like that. Once you, once I've created or I've figured out what it is I want to do, and I think that is what I'm going to do, then I'm just gonna go ahead and put things in place, all right? So here we go, and we do need our dimensionals or our foam strips. Gonna add a little bit of foam tape. Like that. Bring in our take your pick tool, pull our, our adhesive backing off. And then add our sentiment where we need for it to be. Okay. How about we do that? Happy birthday! Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some dimensionals to this. Our foam tape is what we're adding. So guys, um, thank you for watching the video today. So we're having, um, you'll be, comment, you stay to the end of each of our videos, you'll be entered into a drawing. For me, today you will win a kit that um, to create this particular card. So for watching and commenting, you can receive a kit, a complete kit. Now you won't get embossing powder, <laughs> um, but you will get all the parts and pieces necessary to create this card. One lucky uh, viewer 
will be entered into the drawing to receive the card kit to recreate this project. And I'll give one away. I'll give two kits away. One for if you watch, we're watching live. The other is if you watch on the replay. Now, if you're watching on the replay, you've got to comment hashtag replay. That's the only way I'll know to enter you into which drawing. That is the only way I'll know which drawing you should be entered into. Now I've got several layers here and I am definitely um, uh, showing my layers by adding uh, foam tape and foam strips. Now when layering you also you don't have to do that either. And then last, well not lastly because we still got to build now in our template card, I did not add dimensions to, or did add dimensions to this layer. Mm, I don't like it so flat, so I'm gonna add dimensions here as well. So all of my layering will be distinct. day here in Austin. I don't know, what is the weather like where you're at? And it's cold. So it is a cold overcast day here in Austin. So guys, if you are looking to, um, if you do not have a, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would absolutely love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. If you'd love to contact me, please don't hesitate to contact me don't know what just happened there but please don't hesitate to contact me and you have my contact information if you are choose if you do choose to um, shop again with me please in my online store please use the host code that is in the top left of the screen and again everyone that uses the host code in the month will be entered into a drawing to receive a free tutorial from me as well so now we're just going to add this to the card front and there we go all right last thing we need to do well not last is we need to add our panel on the inside and now generally i don't add um i really don't add a lot on the inside um Let's see, but I do have a strip of cardstock from the DSP that we could just add a strip on the inside. If I can find it. You know when you put things away from yourself and then you can't find them anymore? That is the world of Corona. While I'm doing that, let me take a sip of hot coffee. How do you take your coffee? Do you take your coffee black? Um, I don't. Do you take your coffee with cream, with sugar? How do you create your coffee? Or if, if you drink coffee at all, how do you prefer your coffee? I'm trying to find the scrap of paper, designer's paper that I had left. Here we go. That I can just cut one little tiny strip. I think I'm just going to cut maybe a half inch. I mean, I could even, you could even do an inch, but I don't really want that big of a, 
and generally for me what goes into what how I'm designing right so if I'm wanting to write a lot then I don't take up a lot of the white space or the navy space or the um, the neutral cardstock space with other things on the inside if I'm wanting to write a lot in my in my card if I do want to write a lot or don't want to write a lot then I will definitely may I would have made this like maybe an inch inch and a half strip but that's not what I want to do I I'm just gonna put this right here right now as I don't know what I want to do but it and I made it small enough that even if I did want to write um, a bigger or you know a bigger sentiment or write a, a personal note that was a little longer than usual then I would still have enough space that I could do that so as we say in the world of, of card making and most and stamping up um, no naked insides and no naked envelopes <laughs> so here we do so the last thing we're gonna do to finish this project off and the um, the rule of the die is we're gonna create an envelope and the envelope is the easiest part especially if you have an envelope punch board which is kind of what I do I do have an envelope punch board and I use it especially when I'm creating cards that are of different sizes than A2 than A2 that way um, I'm not stuck with just having to create a project that is just a standard A2 I can make something different so long as I have the wherewithal with how to create a an envelope to send it in And back in the day, Stampin' Up! used to have sell an envelope punch board. We don't do it right now. So I do have my We Are Memory Make We Are Memory Keepers 3-in-1 um, cutter or punch board. And with that 3-in-1 punch board, you can make an envelope, you can make a bow, and you can make a box. So that's why I keep that. I don't get rid of that one at all. All right. So here we go, our card is almost finished. I'm definitely gonna come back and add, make sure I burnish my folds, and there we go. So our card is done. Okay, so now let's get with, I do want a piece of, I want a piece of bling here. I gotta think about that one. So according to our envelope punch board, we need for a card that is, three and a half I'm sorry three and a quarter by six and a six and a quarter we need a piece of that will fit that we need a piece of paper cardstock whatever it is you're going to use that is eight and three quarters by I'm sorry eight and three eighths by eight and three eighths now I went into one of, for me I don't use I generally do not use my Stampin' Up! papers designer papers to create envelopes that's just not what I that's not what I bought it for but for today's purpose I'm going to use it this is from the nature's print designer series it's retired which is why I'm kind of okay with using it there so according to the guide for a piece for a three and a half by six and a half um, um, card we need to cut a piece that's eight and three eighths and our first punch needs to be at three and one eighth. So we're gonna punch at three and one eighth. We're gonna score. Now, because it's designer series paper and it's it's a little bit lighter, and when I say lighter, I mean just a little bit thinner, you don't wanna press too hard because you don't wanna uh, rip your paper like I do. And then I'm gonna do a 180 and I'm gonna line it up again at the three and one eighths. Punch and score. Okay. And so the only reason I do it that way is so that I only have to remember one number or two numbers, right? The big cut amount and the score line. And then all I'm gonna do is line the score line up with that most, that outermost blade. enough and then punch 
then do the same thing. Turn it, punch it, score it. Okay. I'm going to round my corners. You can choose to round all four corners. I am going to do that. I'm going to round all four corners. One, two, three, and four. A little bit more of a professional look. And that's all we that's all we need. Our envelope is done. We're just gonna burnish some folds. Now you've got an, an envelope that's decorated on the inside as well as one that on the outside. pretty envelope that your card will go into. That is the beauty of creating, let's use this one. That's the beauty of creating your own design, your own envelope, okay? You can definitely choose and have a color coordinated envelope. Um, so kind of give your, give your uh, viewer or your recipient a little bit of a hint of what they're getting once they open the card if you choose to use designer series paper, the same paper and patterns that you've used. And then, I don't think I have too much there. Right. Now the trick to, that I've found out with this is making sure that your adhesive kind of lines up with the what's being covered because you don't want to overshoot You don't want to overshoot it. And what do I mean by that is if, if you had put it on this end, okay, so why I put it on this side? Because if I had put it on here, I might, unless I wanted to bring out um, measuring tape and all that kind of stuff, you run the risk of putting adhesive all the way um, along here where you don't want to seal your card shut. Okay, so that's the only reason I did what I did and the way I did it. I'm gonna add this little extra strip right here. I'm gonna read a little more, just a little bit more. We're gonna cut that. Add it in here. And so there we go. Perfect. We're gonna burnish that in. And then we're gonna take that off. Then our card on envelopes will be done. So we're trying to, I tried a little something different today. Normally I would roll the die so that you could see right after this video, but we, I have made the die roll the last video that you'll watch on the playlist. So you gotta stay tuned and uh, join the entire playlist or watch the entire to see what the die rolled for next month. You guys, if you want to, to join us, okay, cause I'm always open to sharing and inviting. Once you know what our, the dies roll for next month, if you wanna go ahead and create um, a project using the um, and let us know or share with us, let me know. I would be, or skid it to me, or post it in my, on our, on the Pinterest board, or in my, on my Facebook page, or wh whichever one of us you've found the roll of the die with, meaning whichever one of the artists, artisans that you follow, go ahead and share it. Um, we would definitely love to add it and definitely view your projects, create that Pinterest board and share 
your creativity as well with the roll of the die. There we go. So now this guy is all ready. When I get ready to send this card, my envelope is ready. So there you have it folks this is our card today and we have two beautiful cards featuring the elements rolled by the die and those elements again were layering texture birthday neutrals and I think that's it right layering texture birthday neutrals and I'm missing something how do I miss something I don't know what I'm missing <laughs> oh and birthday <laughs> so there we have them you guys I hope you appreciate or I hope you enjoyed creating with the cards today uh, with the dies today and I hope you enjoyed what me, myself and the other demonstrators are uh, share, sharing with you today don't forget to like, share, and subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel. Um, if you are not a member or, or of my VIP, please sign up for my blog or my newsletter to stay in touch with, with what's going on. Subscribe to my channel um, and, be, and click on the notification bell and to be notified when I upload live content. On that note, you guys, thank you guys for joining us today. And we'll see you next month. Oh, by the way, before I sign off. So next month, the second Sunday of the month is... Uh, the second Sunday of the month is the 10th. So we will join you back here on the 10th of November. Uh, sorry, 10th of December as we roll our die. As we um, present the projects created with those elements. Thanks, guys. For watching have a great day and happy stamping